Hey guys, my name is Moran Pober, and in the next video, I want to show you why you should never raise capital to your tech business before you have those things. There are two different thoughts out there in the market. Many people will tell you never raise capital, bootstrap, reinvest your money back into the business and make sure you're profitable from day one. Other people might tell you, hey, leave everything and focus only on going out there and raising capital. So what you should listen to, obviously there is no black and white in business, but I wanna give you some of the thoughts here about that. The first thing is you must have your fundamentals in place first. I don't care if you're trying to grow bootstrap in one client at a time or you try to raise capital, before you have the fundamentals, before you understand who is in your team, what your process is in terms of sales, marketing, operations, support, technology, um, finance. If you don't have those fundamentals and understand how things will look like when you have capital or when you bring in clients, there's no way you will be successful. And most people that I know who are tech entrepreneurs, they have some kind of a talent. They're either great marketers, they're great at pitching themselves or promoting their product. They're either great developers at creating an amazing product. So it's basically either one of them. They're either great at technology or they're great at like being a marketing person. So if most people that I know, they're just focused on one of those and you probably lack the other, you need to figure out, you either learn it yourself or you find out a way to get the other uh, things going on in your business. Otherwise, first of all, it will be really hard to raise capital. And secondly, even if you try to do everything organically, you just won't be successful. If you're only good at one of those, if you have an amazing product, but you don't know how to market it, it won't work. If you have an amazing marketing skills, you know how to raise capital, but you don't have the tech side, uh, I guess nailed, you won't be successful either. The second problem I see when people try to raise capital is they don't have their story dialed in. They're not unique. They're just same as everyone else. They don't know how to differentiate themselves. Like even if they have a very similar product to someone else, they must find a way to be different and they gotta have a process to be able to convince others that it's different. And many times it's all about having the right systems and uh, I guess procedures to create a better story for yourself when you go out there and promote yourself again, either organically or by raising capital and potentially doing deals. Another problem I see with people is they just don't have the right team. You need to figure out with yourself who's on your team. And even with raising the capital, like most of the people want to go and raise capital because they want to hire better people. So you got to ask yourself, what do I, why do I want to raise capital? Do I want better people? Do I want to reinvest back into marketing? Do I want to uh, create a better product? You got to ask yourself all those questions. And many times raising the capital to continue to grow organically isn't the way to go because you can instead just do a deal with a business, go and buy a business and buy a business with an existing list of clients, with an existing amazing product, with an amazing employees and talents, with an amazing technology and, and something unique in them. And you can, when you buy a business or you do a deal with an existing established business, you can also leverage other resources and other assets rather than just doing everything internally organically and raising capital for your own deal internally can be much harder as well versus going out there and raise capital to buy a business. So you really need to think with yourself, what is what am I trying to do here? Because if you're not focused, first of all, you just won't be successful. You got to be focused and understand why you're doing what you're, what you're doing. And there's, a, there's too many mistakes that I see when people try to raise capital. And after they raise capital, they realize they raised it for the wrong reasons and they find themselves spending money on the bad things. Now, don't get me wrong. Even if you raise capital to do deals, there are many mistakes you can do there as well. You can find the wrong deal. You can find, you, you like literally, I saw people wasting hundreds of thousands of dollars just paying for fees for accountants and lawyers and they don't know the process on how to have contingent fee advisors and how to make sure that your team and advisors and accountants and lawyers will only get paid on if and when you close the deal or how to leverage other people's money to do those deals and buy your competitors and buy complementary businesses. Those are all sm small nuances that if you're making mistakes with, you can lose a fortune. Same with organic, like most companies who raise capital for their organic growth, they're sh they're, they shut down, they fail, most businesses fail. So you need to understand, you need to find the right system and combination of not just growing organically, but going out there, buy businesses with existing established track record, customers, products, talent, versus only doing it organically by reinventing everything yourself. 
So you really figure out, gotta figure out what's the best way for you to go. Uh, sometimes it's a combination of both, but you gotta make sure that you have the right systems, the right accountability around you, because every mistake in each of those can cost you a lot of money and just your business. So those are some of the lessons that I think are a must for you to experience like the hockey stick growth. Unless you have those things in place, it will be really, really hard. And only when you do those things, and in my opinion, only when you do deals and you raise capital, that's where you can eventually really step back from the day-to-day -day owner manager in the business and step back to a point where you're the owner investor or owner uh, visionary in the business because you bought in another in another business with great talent in here or you just raised enough capital to have the right systems or to do deals with amazing businesses out there um, those are my lessons for you i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon